y'all it's Angela I am back to give y'all the DIY y'all have been waiting for I'm gonna show y'all a different way to make the uh, candy cane wreath specifically the ornament one um, you can also do the burlap one this way I just don't have any more burlap and I know that I've got the most views on the ornament wreath so that seems to be what people like the most and people were commenting, where did you get it? Where did you get it? And I'm like, Dollar Tree, and they're like, can't find it. I said, I know, it's impossible to find. So, this, let me first say, this was not completely my idea. I saw um, Serendipity's Closet, I think is her name, and she used the plastic um, cross-stitch stuff. She used that, is what she used, and she did a mesh one. Well, I wanted to come up with a way that you can do this completely going to the Dollar Tree. Some people, they don't have craft stores nearby to where they can to get that piece of plastic thing that she used. Okay, what you will need is two packs of, and some of the packs look different than this. I already threw the other uh, pack away. Not the pack, but the packaging. But, um... They come in two, and it's a chopping mat, and they're clear. Well, I can't get that out, but it's just, it's completely clear. But you're going to need three of them, and since they only come in a two-pack, get two packs. Okay, and then you're going to need two of these candy canes. And I think you can also get these at Walmart. I'm not sure if they're, honestly, if they're cheaper at Walmart or if they're a dollar at both. They possibly could be 98 I know a lot of times things at Walmart are 98 cents when they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So, you know, if you want to save a couple cents and it's 98 cents, then just go to Walmart and buy them if, if that's the price. I honestly, I don't know. I haven't priced them. But you need two of these. It doesn't matter if you go and um, you end up getting the red and the green or the green and the white, whichever. That part doesn't really matter. But it is good to get matching if you can. Okay. This thing's long. Okay. All right. I think I've got it. This this is really long, so I have y'all far, far away. I'm going to try to get closer so y'all can hear me. The first thing I did was just laid out my um, chopping mats. They're clear. They're hard to see. Here's one. Here's two. And then the third one, I have it laying long, um, horizontal. I've got two laying vertical and then one laying horizontal. And then I'm going to, um, and I have them overlapping. You want them to be overlapping because when you zip tie them to the candy canes, they will be floppy if you don't have them zip tied to each other where they're joining each other. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this one out right up against the line because I'm just going to leave that straight line. I'm not going to worry about cutting that line. Whoa. And these are not, per these candy canes are not perfectly straight, but you just want to make sure you have most of it um, on there. And you can figure out your spacing. Um, I want mine to be about the same spacing as the original uh, candy cane form, which I think is about, I think it's three inches, but it curves. So this one I think is probably, I don't know if that's like an inch and a half or two inches, but I'm just eyeballing it and I think that looks good to me. Well, actually, I might come a little bit further out. You want to take into consideration your curve too though. You want to make sure that your curve looks good. And then you're just going to take your black marker and you're going to um, trace so you'll know where to cut. Yeah. 
And you might want to make it a little bit bigger right here because you can always go back in and trim when you get to the curb. The, the curb. The curve, you want to kind of come in a little bit more because you can go back and trim that if you need to. You kind of want, you don't want to do the little dip right here. You want to kind of, kind of continue that a little bit. And see how I kind of came in a little bit more instead of going so close. Because I can, I can go back and, and um, cut in more if I want to later. But that's just how I did. I just kind of traced is what I did. Okay, and now I'm just going to move my candy canes for now and then uh, cut these out. need some zip ties this particular pack did not come from Dollar Tree um, these are just some I have on hand um, but Dollar Tree does sell zip ties and I think they actually sell white which is even better okay guys the easiest way to make a hole in these is to use a cutting board underneath and take a knife this is a steak knife and just kind of wiggle it back and forth and dig until you till you poke through and then just kind of make a little bit of a circle so you can get your zip ties through. That's that's gonna I think be the easiest way to do this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, zip tie through these two pieces. Hopefully I have it right. Okay. This is going to go on top. And I'm going to zip tie the first piece. Okay. Alright, there is the first piece. This can be moved because it's the first piece, so it'll be able to be moved. All right. Now, I'm going to try to make another hole in this bottom uh, corner down here to zip tie it here. And just be careful and just kind of, you just take your knife and kind of wiggle back and forth. I mean, these are cheap chopping mats, so eventually, see... I broke through. Okay. Take the zip tie. Okay. 
that way. And then just keep working it down till you have it secure and tight. And you do You want to have this on top. Okay. There we go. There, there's the first piece. Now, the next piece, we'll go ahead and kind of get it lined up so I will know where did this thing go. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of work my steak knife through and try to do it while it's um, layered on top of each, uh, the other piece so I have it marked where to finish making the hole. And it's all the way through. So it's through both pieces. All right. Grab another zip tie. Now that I figured it out, it's going a lot faster. I just, I don't know, I didn't think it through with the hole punch thing. I thought it would hole punch. All right. And when you're doing this upper one, this is where you want to check and make sure you have everything lined up and really adjust everything. I'm going to go ahead and start on the other, um, getting the other candy cane on. Just be careful and don't pierce your finger. I know this is not the safest DIY. I just I was just trying to come up with a way to do this with only going to Dollar Tree because like I said I know a lot of people live in areas that are small towns and they have Dollar Trees but they don't have craft stores or even a Walmart so it's hard for them to go get those special um, uh, plastic cross stitching things. Y'all can kind of see what it's doing now. See how it's coming together? I know y'all are cringing right now because my finger's so close to this knife. I'm okay, I promise. be very careful and um if you feel more comfortable ask your husband to do this 
I know some people have um, rheumatoid arthritis and stuff like that, and this would be hard for them to do this part. So, you know, see if you have a son or a husband or something that could do this part for you. Uh, got twisted on it. Mm. Of course, with zip ties, you want to hear that clicking noise. If you don't hear that clicking noise, it's not locking it into place. And it'll just fall off. So make sure you hear the click. Oh, I meant to do this before. It's fine. I think I, I can still work with it. I can just kind of separate it and do it right here. Pull it too tight, make sure it's on top because we want this on top. Okay, now is where you can kind of adjust how you cut the top part because this is locked into place pretty well. So now is where you can go back and kind of adjust this, the height or whatever, if you feel like you need to, or cut this part out. But take into account that you want to be able to have something to hold to punch these two together. Let's see. I am going to leave mine the way it is and we'll play it by ear and I think it will hopefully be okay. Okay, what I'm going to try to do at this point is have a hole here and have a hole here and then just zip tie this whole area together. And since it's one, it's easy to punch through with a steak knife. And if y'all don't feel comfortable using your own steak knives doing this, um, thrift stores have steak knives really, really cheap, like a quarter. 
So you can get a steak knife just to use for punching holes and have it in your crafting, with your crafting stuff. I wanted to mention here that you can take a piece of twine or ribbon or whatever you want to before you completely tighten down the zip tie and that way you will be able to hang it. I just realized that I did not provide y'all with a way of hanging it. So that is something that you can do. Okay, and honestly, it's good. It's That is secure. You don't need any more zip ties. You don't need to worry about this. That right there, this whole thing, it's, it's secure. It is good. Okay. Now you just want to go back and clip all your um, zip ties. And good. Before you clip them, make sure they're tight. When I'm secure. And this is plastic, so you want to make sure that you're not zip tying so tight that you do crack the um, candy cane frames. Okay, so now you have, this is a lot longer, but you do have a candy cane frame. This one, I, I did do this reversed. Now, if you want to, you can reverse it this way, and you can you can glue the ornaments this way. It's it's up to you which way you want your candy cane candy cane to go. And that's the nice thing about this is you can choose which way to put your candy cane. And I might. I wonder how it will look if I do them on the inside. Okay, y'all know me. I do something and I think I want to do it one way and then I change my mind. So it's kind of a happy uh, coincidence that it was bowing the way it was. I think I like doing it this way instead. I'm just going to glue two on each one. So let me get my hot glue gun set up and then I will meet you back. Okay, if you did not get to see my other um, kitty cane wreath, I think on it I used seven packs of five and then... Um, Two packs of the, the small ones is what I had used on it. I'm not using Dollar Tree um, ornaments. The red ones won't be the big ones because I have these on hand. I don't know if y'all can see that price, $3.25. I bought this big thing at a thrift store, and I think these are normally $20 at Walmart maybe, or maybe even more some places, maybe even $40 some places. But... I'm not using them on any tree, so I'm just going to go ahead and use them on this project. But of course, you can use the Dollar Tree ones. But the Dollar Tree ones I am using, I have um, two packs of the silver. And these, these have seven ornaments in them. And I'm not sure because this is long and skinny, I'm not sure how many it will take. My um, other candy cane ornament, it was three um, ornaments wide, and this... It will only be two ornaments wide. But I do have this long, um, how many is in there? 15 of this. These are not, these are not the itty bitty ones. These are the next size up from the itty bitty ones. There's an itty bitty ones that you get. I don't have the package anymore because I just used it on Grayson's tree. But there's a package of 16 that's the small ones. This is the next size up. And they didn't have those, um, the red, any more packages of the red ones or I would have bought those. And this is a pack of 12. They didn't have any packs of the little silver ones. So I got these, and these are just a size up. So um, these, it's just good to have a little bit smaller to fill in any gaps you'll have. Okay, to save time, I will time lapse me um, gluing the ornaments on. This is the fun part where you get to decide how you wanna do it. I'm gonna have, you don't have to have them exactly lined up. You can have them go in whichever way you want to, but I'm going to do red and silver so mine looks kind of like a candy cane. But this is where you get to be the crafter and um, 
the decorator and you get to choose how you want to decorate yours. I do want to add, when you're gluing your ornaments down, you want to put the little, the tip part, you want to kind of put it up like that. Well, y'all can't see. You want to put it down into the, pl the, the plastic. And if you want to, you can remove these. This particular one, I'm not w removing because I might end up giving this one to my sister-in-law and she doesn't have small kids, so it's not as big of a deal about that. Okay, I wanted to um, slow down the time lapse and show y'all step by step how I'm actually gluing these on because you want to make sure you're gluing them at um, all the points that the ornaments touch so you're reinforcing them and they won't move around on you. Okay, I'm putting glue on the candy cane itself. A little bit down here on the plastic part and then some glue right here on this other ornament because this ornament will be touching that ornament and I'm gonna keep holding on to this ornament and I'm gonna put more glue on this side of the candy cane glue on this ornament and glue on this ornament secure the other ornament And if you feel it's still loose, add more glue. And the pattern, the pattern I have going on is um, uh, two rows of three red and then a row of silver, three red, and then I'm gonna do a row of uh, silver. And again, you can do this however you want. I know candy canes are, um, tend to be more uh, white, so if you can get more silver ornaments, like if you can find a big um, thing of this in silver, get that and do more silver and then do your red stripe. This is just what I have to work with and that's what I'm doing. But you make yours however you want to. It is yours. It is your creation. But as you can see, this is not a little recliner. This is a really big recliner. So this will be a longer candy cane. And you can also, if you don't mind it being long, but you feel that this is too short, you can extend your um, the plastic part, um, the chopping mat. You can extend that out so it will look a little better. Or again, like I said, you can take and chop before you start doing this. You can maybe saw this off and then it would look like that. Just kind of picture all that off and picture it being that size and just cut off. Good grief. I don't know. That might be two feet. I don't really know how long this candy cane is. Maybe not two feet. Maybe 15 inches or so. But yeah, you could cut off to like right there and have it looking like that and that doesn't look as bad but that is it and um now I hope that everybody can go and make their candy canes and learn from <clears throat> how I did mine you know if you like some things I did then you can do them on yours if you think well like she said I would rather cut it off or extend it just 
you know, this is meant to inspire you and you make yours how you want to. I actually wanted to show y'all that if you take it and you just kind of lean it against something, it doesn't look that bad being so long and having the shorter uh, cane part on it. If I can figure out how to, I might take it and hang it from right here from my cabinet by like a piece of ribbon. I'm not sure exactly how to go about that yet. Maybe a command hook or something. But it actually doesn't, I mean, my kids will knock it over, but have an area that is not high traffic, then you could do something like this and just lean it up against something if you wanted to. Well, that is it. I thank y'all for watching and thank you for your patience. This is just an idea I had and I had to kind of play around with it. I know it's not the safest thing driving a steak knife <laughs> through a chopping mat, but the whole puncher wouldn't work. So, I mean, if you can find, um, I don't know if it would work, but maybe one of the, the cheap placemats that they have, maybe those would hole punch. Maybe they're not made the same consistency as a chopping mat, but like I said, you'll need three. Y'all have a great night and I will see y'all next video. Love you all. Bye.